Yo guys, Spiderbot here. Welcome to Call of Duty Ghost Road to 100% episode number two. I'm changing it up here. We're playing Search and Rescue. I got an assault rifle in my hands. You know what? I'm, I'm used to holding something smaller. That is not a sexual innuendo that has nothing to say about me personally, okay? I'm used to running the SMG. I got an assault rifle here, right? The honey badger. The honey badger is pretty sweet. I hear it's pretty sweet, and it is, in fact. Uh, the integrated silencer is a bonus for me. I'm running the ACOG, simply because I'm working on operations. Um, and I also have uh, the foregrip, you know, just to help steady it up. I mean, it's pretty solid without the foregrip, but with the foregrip, it's uh, it's even uh, slightly better. Now, um, I would say with my sensitivity, okay, I'm used to running five and six. Five and six, I'm pretty comfortable on my sensitivity settings with an SMG. However, switching to an assault rifle, I've had to amp it up to 10. Uh, because it's too slow when I'm when I'm at five or six So I think you know when I'm using different weapons my sensitivity needs to change the perks I'm running ready up sleight of hand agility quick draw takedown, which is kind of useless here uh, Especially on search and rescue because hey, they're gonna see where their enemy die because their tags are gonna be there, right? Um, but again, it's for the operations get X number of kills while running takedown and I'm also running dead silence now it I you know these first few rounds are pretty damn slow but I tell you stick around the last round is pretty epic I can tell you right now the last round is an ace okay I I, I know I already gave it away in the video title but I had to okay right just to get you here come on ah uh, it's a good round trust me but uh, yeah taking it a little bit more slow I don't have the mobility that I have with the the SMGs and what I'm used to so you know I'm hanging back a little bit I'm playing a little more cautious I'm trying I'm still sound whoring like sound whoring is an effective uh, element of this game that really helped me and I get taken out here but I got the two tags so that's alright and this guy yeah this guy just uh, just fails here sniping but you know I, I, I've got to take it a little bit more slow and you see those tags in search and rescue especially which is kind of a pain in the ass when I'm not running that higher mobility class and I can't move as quickly. You know, I see those tags. And watch this, okay? I don't know. Like, these guys were specifically going for these care packages. I think this guy or one of the guys or, or multiple of the guys got, like, three care packages in this game. And you're going to see what he ends up with in a, in a future round here. But it's just insane. It's... I don't know. You know, the operations are cool and everything, but when, when they start... Pulling down care packages with uh, kill streak rewards that are just out of whack with how well they've done in the game. I don't know. It just kind of irritates me a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll deal with it. We got to deal with it. We deal with it. Uh, you know, the way we got to deal with it is just dealing with it, right? <laughs> Does that make sense? And, uh, you know, I feel that in search and rescue, right? Especially with the assault rifle, I can't run out there. I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not comfortable running out there. Uh, being as slow as I am with the assault rifles, so I'm just kind of hanging back and, and you just you end up getting a ton of kills just camping the uh, the tags, which is obviously no surprise and nothing new and I'm man with my last bullet I get that last guy, but I end up getting taken out. So here I am sitting at eight kills already and uh, We do get a pretty decent uh, total at the end of this game. So we're just gonna uh, finish spectating this guy and, uh, you know, again, I'm, I'm also working on uh, the camos for for the honey badger, etc. Again, trying to go through all the uh, the weapons here. And uh, I got a nice game coming up. Uh, TDM, I mean, it's a little campy. Well, I shouldn't say it's a little campy. It's a lot campy. But I've got a freaking assault rifle with the, uh, the single fire attachment on it. And uh, it was pretty difficult. It was pretty difficult to get used to. But... You know, it's slowly but surely. Wait till I get to the snipers, man. You kidding me? Sniping. All right, so uh, we got the dog, and he goes hogwild. Where the hell are you going, spider bite? Look at that. He goes in there. I thought there was a guy there, and I'm just freaking pre-firing these guys. Just like freaking hip fire, spray, hopefully get a kill. And look at this guy. He's blind prone, waiting for me to come through that doorway. So we got the bomb planted over here. I'm just gonna uh, rush over, see what's up. Nobody's there. It's good news. And I think the last guy is over on the other side of the map here. So I think I do. Do I get the kill here? No. I run out of ammo. That's the only other thing. Like I'm not. 
I don't I don't really think you need extended mags, especially in search. Um, but I ha I didn't pick up another weapon. Usually, um, I'm more cognizant of that because the class I run, I don't run a secondary. So you know, when I only have a single weapon, you can just walk over any weapon and and pick it up. You don't it automatically becomes your secondary, and then I immediately sw uh, swap back to my primary, whatever I'm running. So it's it's pretty good that way. I don't feel the need to run a secondary simply because you can pick it up. So yeah, did you hear that? The guy's got a freaking Loki. Are you kidding me? The guy got a Loki out of the care package, and he got another care package. And there's another care package in the next round. What's the deal? These freaking operations are killing me. Look at this. Here comes another care package. Oh, oh I already got a Loki. You may as well call in another one and get something else. Yeah, it's great. So I'm like, oh my god, we got this uh, the juggernaut just running around the map. It's his, uh, his uh, squad mate. I'm like, oh shit, what the hell am I going to do here? Um, I, I, you know, I should have probably moved way before now, because moving right now was kind of a mistake, and yeah. Gee, thanks. Look at this guy. Draw minigun! I mean, this is on, well, I wouldn't say it's as bad as the, uh, the game we posted the other day with the, the, the hacker with the minigun, but still, nonetheless. Okay, this is the round. This is the round right here. Now watch how my teammates just get downed. And I'm sitting at, uh, what, nine kills right now? Okay, nine, three. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna go back to the spot. I don't mind the spot. It's actually pretty decent for uh, for holding down. So he's obviously in the train car. So I'm gonna try and wait for this guy to come out. Have a little patience. I don't usually have patience. Patience is not my middle name. Definitely, so there he is. All right, so we get him. See, so my teammate got taken out. Uh, he's probably sniped. I guess. And this guy got taken out. Like, who? Oh, there he is. The guy's got a dog. Gee. I wonder if he got, he got the dog out of the care. He had to have gotten the dog out of the care package because uh, I don't think they had enough kills to get these kill streak rewards, right? Okay, so that's uh, what? That's kill number. That's number two right there. Plus the dog. They don't count that in the kills. Come on. That should be a kill. A dog is harder to kill than the dude, right? <laughs> so I picked up a sniper. That's not good. Uh, links with armor piercing. Anyways, okay, so yeah, I'm holding this down and I'm sound whoring. Sound whoring, awesome, awesome in Ghost. That's uh, what? Two kills now? It's two, we're up to 11. Look at that, care package. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's like freaking three care packages from the stupid operations, man. It's killing me. All right, so there's number three, kill number three. Not bad. Uh, for this round. So we can pick up the K7. Oh, 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 no, no, run away, reload. Thankfully, thankfully I have sled hand. All right, I can hear this guy. I can hear him out, he's coming around there. Yeah, 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 pre-fire. Yeah, and I got a dog. All right, that guy saw me, yeah, call the dog. Let's call the dog, that's four kills. It's four, come on, come on, doggy. Yeah, five, yeah. Six! Come on, one more. One more. There's one more left. I got your... Yeah! Oh my god, Riley! You're awesome. So yeah, seven kill... A uh, seven kill ace in that last round. Running the Honey Badger. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, it's just getting used to the uh, to the uh, assault rifles, right? I mean, SMGs will all be always be my baby. I like, I like holding something, you know, a little smaller and more maneuverable in my hands. Get it? Uh, anyways... That's it for now. 16-3, not too bad with that ace. Seven kills in that final round. Hope you enjoyed. I'm Spider and I'm out.